All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha, Chwedash. Double honors to my apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, who rule well, excuse me. And um, salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect that's scattered abroad. You know, Shalom to you, bros, that's around the world teaching the truth. 100% truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. You know, I'm just gonna do a quick lesson and I'm gonna call it Rule Over Your Own Spirit. But well, let's see. Have rule over your spirit or rule over your spirit. You know, whatever which way that fits. You know, you gotta have rule over your own spirit. You know, because you know, if not, then you're not disciplined, you know? And discipline is key in the truth, all right? And it's a way that the Lord wants us to be disciplined before his come, before the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh And that's by holding fast to what is what was given to us when he established us to be his people, okay? Which we are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? Our foreparents and our forefathers is from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. There was a chosen line from Adam, okay? And from Adam, all right, you had Enos, Steph, and I'm not, not, not probably saying it in order, but you, know, you can look this up, look up the lineage, the chosen line lineage, you know? Then you had Abraham, all right, then Isaac, then Jacob. And Jacob, all right, which had 12 sons, okay, which was called Israelites because Jacob's, Jacob's name was changed, all right, to Israel. So his children, okay, became what? Israelites, Hebrew Israelites, all right? Our Hebrew is our language. You know, Hebrew is our custom. Israelite, all right, going into Yasha Allah, he prints power, meaning that we're the princes of the power. So we're Hebrew Israelites. Nothing to do with black, nothing to do with brown, nothing to do with white, nothing to do with yellow. You know, because when you hear certain people labeling us and trying to category us into a small box to demonize us you know that they're going off and they're disrespecting the lord's chosen people all right you israelites are the lord's chosen people and the israelites all right are the so-called negroes latinos native american indians so-called west indians so-called haitians so-called hispanics all right so-called Mexicans, you tribes are the Israelites whether you like it or not. You know, you don't have to accept it, but you are. Because that's what the Most High created you to be. And you should be thankful, man. Especially when you wake up to this knowledge of truth. You should be thankful that you are a chosen, chosen people of the Most High, of Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know? Cause we're about to have the world, all right? This world was made for our sakes, man. So I would like to uh, just go over a few precepts I had in my notes, and uh, hopefully, the Lord, the Lord, allow this lesson to be edifying, all right? Kind of just, you know, click the button and just, just go. I didn't meditate on any scriptures, any topics, you know. I just opened up the um, the phone click the button you know real quick so i'm hoping the lord allow me to you know speak in the spirit in the right spirit to edify all right so let's get colossians chapter 3 verse 5 okay it says modify matter of fact i gotta go to the bible app bear with me one second
Okay, this is Colossians 3 and 5. And uh, it says, Modif Modify therefore your members which are upon the earth. All right, which is the body. We have members that war inside of us. All right. You know, these members is the body. The body that we are living in, all right, is sinful flesh. And this is a part, well, this is reasons why we look forward to the kingdom. Because we want to be changed into that perfect body. Okay? We're looking for your Yahweh shot to return. So this truth is based on faith. Okay? Now, Elder Apostle Gabar, he did a, you know, he always do edifying lessons, man. And I watched his lesson, you know, and he was uh, just stressing the fact because these different camps, they go into the law of the law, but they don't teach faith. They don't teach really Yahweh Shai. They mention it, you know, but they don't really teach Yahweh Shai, man. We here at Great Millstone, we teach the word, okay? And we let it be known who you should follow, all right? And what manner of person are ye to be because that's it that is scripture okay what manner of person ought ye to be an all holy conversation and godliness and that that conversation means conduct so there's a certain conduct and manner you have to be that's just the way the most high designed it that's how he want his chosen and that's why on this side the elect only the elect is going to be delivered all right meaning the chosen out of the chosen because even though the uh, nation itself of Israel, all right, the tribes are the chosen, but the Lord is not dealing with these tribes. He's only dealing with the elect from these tribes, all right, which is the one third to sum it all up, all right, the one third, okay, those that the Lord is finding, will find worthy to deliver, okay, so. You have to be a certain way, so let's lock it. I gotta cross the street, so bear with me. I'm losing my train of thought a little bit. But anyway, let's get back to the scripture. This is Colossians chapter three and five. Modify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Yeah, the body, okay? Matter of fact, there's another preset that come to mind. And um, let me see if I can grab that real quick, all right? So just gonna have to work with me, walk with me, all right? D block. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, got it. All right. So right, let me see. The second Corinthians. This is the one right here. I'm going to come back to Colossians, but this is the book of 2 Corinthians. Man. This is the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 1. It says, For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have a building of the Most High, and house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. All right, so what is that building? It says, For we. For we know that our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, meaning this flesh, this body. See? This body, this sinful flesh we were born in. It says, we have a building of the Most High, which is a spiritual body. Because when you die, your spirit goes back up to the Father. Okay? You know, you got uh, these false teachings and these false philosophies and these different religions out here and they may teach you that your spirit can be an animal you die and come back as an ant a monkey a tiger you know all that crazy shit in all reality the truth is when you die your spirit goes back up to the father and there's plenty of precepts to, to back that up all right so it says in house not made with hands eternal in the heavens Meaning forever. We have a spiritual body that lives forever. It says verse 2. For in this we groin. Earnestly desiring to be clothed upon. 
with our house which is from heaven so we growing all right this is what we we seriously desire all right those of the whole four elect we seriously desire to be clothed upon with that body that's going to be given to us when Yahweh shall return that's what we want man okay that's going to establish the kingdom all right to you know the kingdom right here on earth and made perfect through Yahweh Shai and the changing of our bodies activating a new covenant living through the new covenant man okay so it says for in this we growing earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven it says if so be that being clothed we shall not be found naked because in the spirit world in the spirit you know we don't sin okay you don't eat you don't sleep all right you don't have to take you know go to the bathroom you rest and you're in your perfect perfection see that's gonna happen excuse me the lord is going to place that spirit inside of the flesh and make the spirit and the flesh become one all right and not war against each other meaning right now in this sinful flesh it is warring against our spirit all right our spirit this is why the scriptures say uh the spirit uh the flesh excuse me the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak roughly paraphrasing all right so it says for we for, excuse me for in this we groin earnestly desiring to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven if so be that being clothed we shall be found naked for we that are in this tabernacle do groin being burdened not for that we would be unclothed but clothed upon that mortality might be swallowed up of life meaning death will be swallowed up we will have defeated the sting of death because what brings death sin what is sin transgression of the law okay so in the king so excuse me in the spirit world in the spirit they don't sin okay the israelites don't sin okay it says uh verse five now he that hath wrought us for the self same thing is the most high yahweh who also have given unto us the earnest of the spirit therefore we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body we are absent from the lord right now we're absent from the lord but the lord is with us in the spirit scriptures say when two or three are gathered in my name he's in the midst you know the lord even have the angels protecting us every day you have your guardian angels man you know so that we don't you know stud our foot against the stone you know so we don't get you know destroyed out here like wicked two-thirds man you know we follow in righteousness and we we worship and praise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai he lead us good path you know sometimes it may feel you know struggle shit but that's a part of that's a part of the goal you know that's a part of the goal brother sent me a video uh, I don't know the brother name, but he out there in Chicago, GMS Chicago. It's a lot here, bro. I don't know your name, but uh, this video edified me. You know, it just brought it, brought, mem brought the remembrance again. You know, because you be catching hell, and um, sometimes the hell that you catch, you would think it's unnecessary because you ain't did shit. You know, I'm saying to myself the other day, I ain't did shit the fuck you know people that don't even know you throwing rocks at you man sort of say you know throwing rocks at you don't like you and the brother in the video you know he made he said uh we got to remember Yahweh shy all right he was hated without a cause you know and that's us if we join ears with Yahweh shy we're going to suffer like Yahweh shy did right here in the flesh you know so yeah being chastised is not joyous, but it do, uh, you know, the Lord open your mind and give you that understanding. It do, it do bring joy and comfort, knowing that you're suffering the sufferings 
that Yahweh Shai suffered, man. You know, even though it's not joyous, but it do comfort us because it lets us know that the Lord is dealing with us, man. You know, and that might sound crazy to a regular man, the natural man, you know. Those out there that without faith might sound crazy. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, right? But we're fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, man. This is something that's given to brothers to understand because the Lord gave them the gift of faith. You know, because they think we're madmen. To the world, we're madmen. But we look at you in the world as madmen. You know, the Lord came to bring that sword, man. All right, which means to cut and to put into two. He came to separate and divide, you know, cause division. Because there's something good and there's something bad. And if it's a part of each other, what you do is you purge it. You cut off the bad, you throw it away, and you keep the good. That's all simple, man. So let's get back to the scripture. You know, yeah, I was mentioning a brother, he made that point, you know, and I said to myself, dang, that's exactly what it is. They hate me without a cause. You don't even know me, you know? Some shit, you know, you're going through in the world, nothing to do on the internet, you know? But um, it's like, damn, you're throwing rocks and you don't even know me. They hate you without a cause. These them demons that's on them, they want to get close. They want to attack, man. They want to cause trouble. And they be trying it, they be trying their way. You know, they be striving. You know? But the Lord be protecting us. Because the Lord said, do no evil and no evil shall come. Alright, if I'm not mistaken, just look it up. I believe evil means trouble or bad time. You know? If I'm not mistaken, just gotta look it up. But they be wanting to bring that trouble. And the Lord be preventing it. You know, if that's not your path, you know, but he allowed you to see, you know, what could possibly happen. That's why it's important, man, to praise Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah and be thankful, man. You know, because when you see that danger damn near close to you, <laughs> you know, and it don't touch you, you praise Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, man, because you know, and it also brings fear, you know, because you know if you wasn't covered by his spirit, you know, then what? You'll be taken by that madness, man. You'll be involved in that madness. No telling what you may do when you're fighting back. You know, you're being carnal. You know? So anyway, let's continue. 2 Corinthians 5 and 6. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that whilst we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. It says, verse 7. It says, for we walk by faith, not by sight, that's important. You know, we walk by faith, not by sight. All right, we teach faith, even though we can't give it to you, but we teach you that that's what you should have because you have to. Yahweh Shai, if you read the scriptures, Yahweh Shai, you know, it was, you know, with, with Yahweh Shai, it was all through faith. You know, if you believe that he was the son of the most high, you know, you'll be delivered. If you believe that he can perform those miracles that he did, hey, you were made whole, you know? So what's the difference today? It's the same. Yahweh Shai haven't made the second return yet. He haven't recovered his remnant yet. You know, we're still in the, the belly of hell, man. You know, hell on earth, man. And the Lord is going to bring holy hell on earth. We're in hell on earth, but Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to bring holy hell on earth, you know? That's when the wicked, today that we live, we live with in this earth, this is when the wicked get judgment, all right? Because right now, they're winning, so to say, you know? Because you got to be wicked in this world to be successful, you know? You got to sell your soul, you know, if you think you want to be comforted, or com yeah, comforted, you know, you want to get over, you got to sell out, you know? So... The Lord gonna bring that holy hell. It says, therefore, we are always confident knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord, for we walk by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Because it's far better to be with the Lord than to be here in his flesh. It's far better to be with the Lord than to be here in his flesh. But, there, but here's the kicker. Apostle Paul even said, you know, he was betwixt between the two. Because he would rather be with the Lord than to be here in the flesh. All right? But it's needful for the men, the prophets of the Lord, you know, the mouthpiece of the Most High, that he sends forth out daily. 
all right, to warn and, and to actually teach the way of the, the way of the Lord, because that's how we're going to get delivered. You have to be taught. So if you didn't have any teachers, then we'll be stuck here, man. All right. But we're not stuck. So you got to pray that the Lord protect the prophets. You women out there, man. You know, you follow brothers, you know, hope for elect. Pray for the prophets, man. Pray that the Lord keep them safe because they're the ones that's through the, the being a middle man giving you the truth. You know, be thankful for the teachers because if it wasn't for these teachers, of course, you give thanks first and foremost to Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. But for the vessels that he used, if it wasn't for those vessels that he used, you wouldn't got this truth, man. You wouldn't have it. You know, you can't diss the prophets and think that you can just get to the most high. You know, nah, man. You know, you gotta acknowledge them for their work. And I don't mean, you know, to be a cheerleader or, you know, to be looking for uh, some sort of glory, you know, but give respect when it's due. That's why we give double honors to our apostles, my apostles, because they're proven by their faith. Their works speak. So even now to this day, us brothers that came in, our works speak, showing you who the true prophets compared to the false prophets. All right. So, hey, remember, the Lord's going to be glorified through his people. Most high can glorify himself any time, any moment, any second. He don't need us to glorify him. But one thing that the Most High is going to do, the main thing, he's gonna, well, not the main, but one thing that why he shows us that he loves us and he has chosen us, he's going to glorify himself through us. <laughs> you know, because he could do it himself. The Lord could have a chariot, drop low, do marvelous things in the heavens, shine certain lights. He can do anything he wants to bring glory to him. But he's chosen his people. And in the book of Malachi, the first chapter, he says he will be glorified from the borders of Israel. And Israel is a people before a place. Okay? So he's going to be glorified. He's going to use his people to glorify him. So that the other nations also will respect him. When they pay homage. Let me slow down. When they pay homage. Alright. To the Lord's elect. Okay. And become servants and handmaids. When the kingdom is established. When we be changed. They're gonna be they're gonna be given that respect to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why Yahweh Shai said, um, if if um, I go, uh, if you if you uh, hear me, hear the Father that sent me, roughly paraphrasing. I forgot how it's worded. You know, that's why the scriptures are another one come to mind. You give a cup of cold water to one of these prophets in the name of a prophet, you shall not lose your reward. Because if you believe in that prophet, you believe in the Lord. All right? If you help that prophet, you're helping the Lord. You know? And that's why you're not going to lose your reward. Because you're doing a great deed. A good deed. In, in your Hawa Bashim Yahweh Shai. So the Lord look out for you. That shows you our Lord is merciful, man. You know? He's very terrible. But our Lord is very merciful too, man. He has compassion. He has passion. Compassion. You know? Toward us. You know, so be thankful, man. Okay, so um, it says, We are confident, I say, and willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. Wherefore, we labor, not whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahawashai, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High. I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. You know, and that's a mouthful right there. All right. Because verse 9, it says, Wherefore we labor. This is a, a work. We're laboring. That whether present or absent, we may be accepted of him. Whether we alive or we die. All right. We will be accepted of him. Because if you die, that does not prevent your salvation you do not lose your rank okay you do not lose your 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 order in line you know what they say first come first serve in the world you know you might get in line and you don't want to lose your place but you got to go grab something 
tell somebody, yo, can you hold my spot? Be right back. Gotta go to the car real quick, get my wallet. You know? And they be like, I got you. You know? Come back, you get right back in line. Well, the Lord is not gonna take away your, your place in this truth because you died. All right? You just finished your course. All right? You did what your lot was, was given to do. All right? Given you to do. All right? You fulfilled the scriptures. And importantly, your name is written in the kingdom of heaven, in the book, man. So it says, we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahawashai. So that means you gotta, you should be on your best behavior in this truth. And I mean that for yourself first, you know? You know, you gotta look in the mirror at yourself and see what type of person you are before you, you know, get out there and trying to teach others because Matthew the seventh chapter, uh, the Lord said, why um, take out the moat out of thy brother's eye, first clean out the moat out of thy eye, you know? At least you be what? A hypocrite, you know? And we don't wanna be those men that's unprofitable to, to, unprofitable to ourselves. That's also a scripture, you know? Being unprofitable to yourself. You're profitable to others, but not to yourself. That's, that's, man, hey. That's, 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 that's whack, man. All right? We want to be profitable, profitable to ourselves, so it's important to be sincere, you know, and be honest. So that now when you're teaching, you know, you're teaching the truth. A lot of these guys in these different camps are not honest with themselves, man. You know? So they out here teaching lies, man. They're teaching lies. Because in all reality, they're not honest with themselves, man. You see? That's why they're doing what they're doing. You know, it's all in the flesh. And I'm gonna get back to that, you know? Their members is getting the best of them, you know? Might wanna feed their pockets or feed their belly, you know? Regardless if it's money, they need members, all right? Or they chasing women, they can't control themselves, you know? They want more than one woman, you know? Which ain't nothing wrong with a brother having more than one woman. That's according to our customs. But hey, is it important now? You know, at this moment, no. It will come if the Lord wanted to come. The Lord joined together who he wants together, man. Okay? And it's going to happen in a time that the Lord wanted to happen. You know? So, but guys be leaning toward their flesh. Basically, inwardly, they're not, they're not honest. You know? Not saying all men, but some, most of these men in these different camps that are just hard-headed. The hard-headed ones. Not saying guys that just are ignorant. All right? I'm saying the guys that see the truth but they're hard-headed man all right they don't give a damn because they feel like nobody has the authority over them you know a lot of these young dudes you know they get out here they see the brothers the apostles elders different brothers around the world teaching and then they hit the corner and want to do their own thing and then when it goes when it comes to correcting them they tell you man get out my face you ain't got nothing to do with this you know and they know that you've been out there teaching they learn from you they watched your video before. They jot down those precepts and got some understanding. But then they get bold and proud, man, because they're left to themselves, as the scriptures say. You know, what is a son, child left to himself is willful, you know? And he start, might get a buzz, he got a little audience. You feeling yourself, you know? Then when, when a man of the Lord go correcting them, they don't want to be corrected. This is why they didn't never want to stand before the brothers all right, they didn't want to stand before the brothers and get taught, introduce themselves. You just go and do your own thing. Hey, it's all good. Do your thing. But guess what? The scriptures say, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. So it's important of your conduct, man. You know, modifying the members in your flesh, which I'm going to get back to. All right. You know, you're entitled. You know. I'll, you know, let me say this again and stress this point. You can do what you want to do. You're a grown man. You know, you're a grown woman. But it's best to humble yourself and come up the right way. You know, you want to do it right. You want to make sure you show about who you worship, man. You know, you know, I myself, I wanted to, I, I wanted to know the truth because I'm honest with myself. You know. And I want to just teach the truth. I don't want to be of no lies, man. 
Every brother, every every elect is like that, man. It's in that brother. You know? It's in that, that sister, you know? That, that you have that in you. Nobody had to tell you that. That's just who you are. That's the big difference, man. This is really who you is, you know? And then, of course, you know, because deep, deep down inside, it's who you truly is, you know? Lord said he looked within the inward part of man. And sometimes you just need a little correction, you know, for some that's a little rough around the edges, and they got it, you know? So anyway, Salakia, let's get back to the point. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahawashai, that every one may receive the things done in his body according to what according to that he have done whether it be good or bad so there's a reward for wickedness there's a reward for righteousness it says knowing therefore the terror of the lord we persuade men so that's why these shows are going out left and right right and left okay constantly consistently man putting it out there because we know the terror of the lord this is the time of repentance, but repentance and the, the days of repentance are closing. All right. Soon the Lord is going to start judging and then it's over. All right. So it says we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the most high. And I trust also are made manifest in your conscience. You know, because when we speak, the word of the Lord gets into your conscience, make you think, you know, start to think, start to get into your bone and marrow, you start moving. You know, demons, some demons that send these people, they act out, man. They get crazy. They get loony, lunatic. You know, they get loony tune. You know, or, you know, all of a sudden the Lord relieves demons. He removes them. And now your mind is open and you can see and you like, the water, the how about you now is shot. This truth is beautiful, you know, and you understand. So let's get back to Colossians 3 and 5. Mortify, therefore, the members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. So all these things lead into what? Idolatry. As the Lord look at it. All right. Just like um, another scripture that's kind of written in a certain way. Um, um, what's the scripture? How it go? Oh uh, man, damn, I can't think. Oh, uh, uh, it's, it's a sin is witchcraft. I forgot how it's worded. Damn. All right. Uh, disobedience. I believe his disobedience is as the sin of witchcraft. Roughly paraphrasing scripture. Might be roughly saying it wrong. But if you know that scripture, just leave it in the comment. All right. It says, for which things. For which things sake, for which things sake, the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. It says, in the which ye also walked some time when ye lived in them, because we walked in these ways before, ignorantly, man, not knowing our power, the true and living power, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. So it says, which things sake, the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience, in the which ye also walked some time. When ye lived in them, but now ye also put off all these anger, excuse me, but now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. It says, Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his his deeds. So we have put off the old man. Alright. You know, we put off the old man and now we have to endure in the new creature because if we turn back you're going to be beaten with more stripes so now there's no cloak for your sin you've been warned that's why Yahweh Shai also mentioned he said uh, he that put his hand to the plow and looketh back is not fit for the kingdom not fit for the kingdom you know because ain't no looking back all right it says, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds. See, the deeds of e the evil deeds. We put that off. It says, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So the knowledge that we be that, that renewed us, all right, is the word of Yahweh. 
okay? Which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. And this knowledge made us new. We have a different understanding of life. We correct our ways. We keep the laws to the best of our ability. Because there's no way we can keep all the laws. And scriptures say if you break one law, you offend all, man. All right? So we know we're not saved through the law. So we're saved through faith. All right? So it says, where there's... Uh, we, it says, we have put off the new man. We have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor circumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Yahawashai is all and in all. All right, and it says Jew and Greek because you had Israelites that took on the Greek customs. This is not talking about no damn Edomite making into the kingdom and being joint with the Israelites. All right, you had Israelites at this time that was actually taking on customs and the ways of the heathens, okay? So neither Jew nor Greek, nor circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, and let me make sure, make sure this is right, let me select it. Bear with me one second. Scythian. Yeah, I know, Scythian. I need to look that up real quick, so. Okay. Strong's G 4658 Scutheis Scutheis An inhabitant of Cynthia In modern day Russia It says by the more civilized nations Okay So it just means rude or rough So it says barbarian Cynthia Bind nor free But Yahawashai is all And in all Yeah Hey you, You'd be surprised man you know, brothers come from different walks and ways of life when they was in their ignorance. You know, look at Apostle Paul. He was a, uh, considered a murderer, okay? He uh, persecuted the church of Yahawashai until Yahawashai told him, I can't kick against the pricks. He blinded him on the horse. He said, I can't kick against the pricks, you know? And he taught Paul one-on-one. -on -one. And Paul became, you know, <laughs> Paul became great, you know, in his works, I'll say. He became great in the works that he did through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. You know, so that lets you know the most high dealing with, you know, all, all types of men, all right, which are Israelites, you know, coming from all different types of backgrounds, man. You know, some guys could be uh, book smart, you know, wordsmiths, and some guys could be, you know, murderers and thugs, man. If they have the elect, the Lord, the Lord is gonna call them in, all right? So it says, put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering. These are gems. Character says, you know, the blue letter leaves a little uh, tags on the side. It says character of the new man. Yeah, this is the character of a new man. All right, you gotta put away that old ninja, man. That's a part of that, 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 that flesh, that sinful flesh, from wicked thoughts, evil thoughts, perceive pursuing things you know thinking things that you you know got no business you know really um getting into you don't want to be a busybody be nosy and shit and into matters that don't concern you you know play your lot do your lot you know of course you know you have to you got to do what you got to do but you don't want to also go too far and be a busybody you know in other men's matters you know something you get in trouble for that man stepping into things that you ain't got no business doing you could have just worried about your lot what you got to do right but it says put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh so we got to put on the elect man we got to put on the elect you got to act like you the elect you know we got to hope that we the elect and by doing these things is putting on the elect the Lord is looking for his elect it tells us in John the fourth chapter which I like that scripture a lot so I want to grab it real quick and I'll close all right I love that scripture man all right, John 4, when he got shot, talk to the woman at the well. Okay, matter of fact, I'm gonna do this. I gotta grab it from this app. John 4. Okay. All right.
right, here we go. This is John chapter 4, verse 21. Yahweh shall say unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. Because this was a heathen woman he was talking to. It says, Ye worship, ye know not what. We know what we worship, for salvation is of the Jews. Okay? Verse 23. But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. It says, For the Father seeketh such to worship him. The Father seeketh such to worship him. The Father seeketh such to work, work, worship him. Meaning he's looking for those of his elect. They're, his elect is going to have a certain uh, mannerism, you know. Even if they're, you know, fresh from the world, the Lord is going to raise them up into that into that ruby righteous stone of his, of the Most High, of Yahweh All right? You know, you're not going to be some wicked nigga, okay, and, and just be delivered because, you know, just because. The Lord already has it chosen. Okay, and he said he looking for him. He said, um, he says, and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Meaning the true worshippers that's going to work to have a hundred percent truth. They're going to worship the Father and the Son. All right, they're going to do the will of the Father and the Son. It says, for the Father seeketh such to worship Him. Yahweh is a spirit, and they that worship Him, uh, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. And that's who the Lord is looking for. All right, they're gonna search the scriptures. So let's get back to, um, real quick, this is Colossians 3 and uh, 12. It says, put on therefore as the elect of Yahweh, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, uh, any if a man, Excuse me. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Yahweh Shai forgave you, so also do ye. All right. So sometimes it also you have to practice forgiveness. You know, everything and all about you know just cursing somebody out. The other side of that is also ask, uh, uh, practicing forgiveness for those that ask for your forgiveness. Because if they don't ask for your forgiveness, you, you don't have to forgive, man. This is not Christianity. The truth is, they have to ask for your forgiveness. All right, so you know uh, I'm gonna leave that to the point. I got a quick precept: Proverbs 25 and 28. He that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. So you gotta have rule over your own spirit, and that's the title of the lesson. I almost forgot. Have rule over your own spirit. It says, "He that have rule over his own spirit is like a he that have no rule over his own spirit is like a city." That is broken down and without walls, man. You got to control your anger. You know, you got to use circumspect. You got to be circumspect. All right. You got to use the uh, uh, um, discernment. Okay. You got to be spiritual. You know. You know, think things before you react. You know, just don't say anything or do anything because it'll make yourself like a fool. And it says, um, it's like a city that is broken down and without walls. You think of a city and it has no walls for protection. That means anything can come and go as it please. You know, and I think of a woman, you know, a woman that has no, uh, no walls. <laughs> uh, not, not that part, you know, but the part where she, she's a vessel for Satan, you know, because she's easily emotionally driven, you know, triggered, emotionally triggered, trigger words, you know. She can have certain words, certain things, how she feel, what type of day it is. You know, she's like a city with no walls, man. You know, she ain't got no sort of protection. And the demon come as he go, get in there, fuck her head up, and then she cause terror, and then the demon leaves her. All right, and then she's left alone with her own shame and, and, and soaking in her own tears because of what she did or what she allowed herself to do with demons on her, man, you know? We don't want to be like that. We got to be strong, man. All right. And pray unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Recha, Chodash, 
double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.